It is Oscar Sunday and right now stars are waking up around Los Angeles to get ready for their big night. There's a lot of prep that goes into getting ready for a day like today. So let's go live to ABC's Morgan Norwood and Hollywood where crews are putting the finishing touches on the red carpet. Morgan in beautiful gown. Thank you so much. Hey, look closely. You can probably see those vacuum lines. The glitz and glam returning to Hollywood and the red carpet is ready to showcase all the stars. The final setup is underway at the Dolby Theater with just hours until Hollywood's biggest night. And after three years with no MC, it's triple the host for this year's Academy Awards. Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Regina Hall. It's also really a treat because I love Amy and I love Wanda. With Will Packer at the helm, producers once again striving to keep the program moving swiftly. But it comes at the cost of eight key categories that won't be announced in the live broadcast. This has not been well received from artisans that work in the industry, feel like they're getting shortchanged. However, Will Packer, ABC and the Academy have ensured that they will have their moment. Now I need mind you saying we hard on these kids. You know why? Because we are. Nominees favored to get that call for the sprint to the stage include Will Smith for Best Actor, but Troy Kotzer, the favorite for Supporting Actor. Kotzer, the second deaf actor to be nominated for an Academy Award for CODA. Marley Matlin, who also stars in the film, was the first. I feel so honored to be here and to be recognized as a nominee because this is making history. And as for Best Actress? Best Actress is the most wide open category of the night. You have two non-winners in the category, Jessica Chastain for the eyes of Tammy Faye on her third nomination. She's never won before. And Kristen Stewart, who plays Princess Diana and Spencer, both are very competitive in this race. And that race will be one to watch. Of course, you can watch the Oscars right here on ABC, but also don't forget about the pre-show. We're going to talk everything that you need to know ahead of Hollywood's biggest night. Rachel. All right, Morgan. And the Academy had been under fire in recent years for lack of representation. Are you seeing that that's improved? Yeah, you know, Rachel, I had a chance to sit down with some film critics here in L.A. And on one hand, uh, you know, it, I got some mixed reactions, right? So on one hand, one said in comparison to last year, there weren't many films that were focused on uh, the black experience in the running. But other experts, they look at the storytelling uh, among the nominees and up for Best Picture. Uh, one is CODA, and that was offering representation to the hard of hearing community. And then also the fact that we have streaming movies, CODA, for example, up against uh, traditional films that are played in theaters up for best picture that also opens up the opportunity for diversity the other film is in Kanto, which is also a huge cultural uh, diversity and capturing the essence of cultural diversity excuse me so it really just kind of depends on the perspective but again mixed reaction from the film critics that I talk with back to you all right yeah we'll be talking about it all morning mm -hmm. long too so yeah. um, thanks for that report hello I'm Mark Brown get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.